Today we're speaking to Larry Forsberg, Economic Development Director for the Village of Westmont. Larry, you've been overseeing economic development and tourism in the village since 2006. Is the current COVID-19 crisis the most serious situation you have faced? Uh, Bonnie, that, that's a really good question. And I think it's a little early to really know the answer to that. I would say the last major obstacle our business community had to work its way through was the economic recession back in 2008 to 2011 that had a very lasting and deep impact on the business community. Um, we're only a, really a, just a few weeks into this situation with COVID-19. It's definitely having a massive impact on everybody's life on a day-to-day -day basis. Nothing is the same. We've turned 180 degrees literally on a dime with COVID-19 sweeping across our country. And at this point, is it fair to ask you, how is Westmont preparing to help local businesses once the pandemic ends? Because it's going to require many resources. Uh, we just had a, a historical record-breaking $2.3 trillion aid package passed by Congress and approved by the President uh, that offers all types of uh, uh, aid packages, such as payroll support um, and grants that don't require repayment as long as you meet the criteria. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of opportunities coming from the federal government with grants. There's some also coming from the state level. For example, unemployment will kick in retroactive from when you're released from your position. Uh, they've also increased the amount of unemployment that's going to be made available to individuals that are filing. So those are a couple things that are going on at the, the state and federal level. But it's even just as important for an individual business owner to take a look at their unique situation What's their balance sheet look like? Are they talking to all their vendors? Just something as simple as talking to waste management. If you're gonna be closed for business, you should be putting your waste management service on vacation mode. Uh, you should be talking to your landlord if, if there's an, a necessity to maybe delay payment and rents. Talking to all your vendors about what you can do to kind of share the, the load of this situation in terms of expenses. I think those are excellent suggestions, Larry. I, I think the businesses do have to uh, look individually at what they're doing and sure. how they can make some changes in, the, in the, not only the immediate futures, but the long term as well. Now, on a positive note, Westmont is seeing some extensive commercial changes that will bring more retail and services to the village. How has the COVID-19 crisis impacted the construction projects? The good news there is construction is considered an essential industry. Uh, construction continues. We do have many projects going on in the community right now. Uh, our largest one is the Market Center on 63rd and Cass. Uh, they are moving along quite well with that project and they're on schedule. However, with that being said, uh, there's still some space within that project that needs to be leased out. There are discussions underway for leasing that space. I would expect and anticipate, quite frankly, that will slow down the discussions somewhat as these companies look and see what is the impact of COVID-19. And a lease that might have been signed this coming month might be delayed for a couple months as they assess that and see what their financial situation truly is. But construction continues. The other project on the north side of town that's going on, I just had a conversation with yesterday afternoon, is the Nanatorium. We have a world-class swim complex being built right by Tidewater Park. Uh, they are not scheduled to be open in July and uh, they're, they're moving it forward quickly, which is very important because when things like that are delayed of that magnitude, it creates a lot of expenses just due to the delay. So to have them continue on is a huge benefit and thank goodness that is. Larry, do you think there are ways that businesses in the community can work together more to support each other in the days and months to come? Historically, Westmont's been well known for teamwork. We have a lot of family-owned businesses in the community, uh, more than most on a percentage basis, and they work together very closely on an ongoing basis, you know, historically. So let me just share one recent example. Um, Westmont's known for its dining. We have 100 restaurants in the community. You can literally dine around the world here in Westmont because of the variety of menus that are made available. Um, we have five restaurants that have come together to provide what you can, would call a progressive dinner. In other words, when you purchase this dinner, you are getting an appetizer from one restaurant, a dessert from another restaurant, an entree from another restaurant, a salad from another restaurant. You are truly getting a, a entire meal comprised of specialties from five different restaurants. 
And um, yes, you cannot go and sit down in the restaurant in, in inside dining is prohibited at this point, but curbside pickup and delivery is still going. Uh, we've, we've seen a phenomenal response to this concept and it's, it's absolutely incredible and it's delicious on top of it. So I've never seen five restaurants come together and offer one meal with components coming from all the competitive competing restaurants. Pretty unique uh, example, I think. Larry, that's a perfect example of how businesses are teaming up to help each other, but also to give people in the community an opportunity to taste a variety of things and True. give them uh, a scope of things. So uh, that's a great, great idea. Uh, also, Westmont residents, is there a way they can help and support the community? Uh, Westmont residents have been very supportive. Um, Everyone who lives or, or, or visits Westmont is familiar with our tagline of Shop, Dine, Discover Westmont. And I can't emphasize enough right now how Im important it is, more so than ever before, to support our local business community. So if you need it and you can buy it in Westmont, we encourage you to do that at this time. Um, it's not just frequenting the restaurants to enjoy one of those progressive meals, but it's it's stopping in and 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 utilizing any one of the other resources that we have available in the community. Um, our hotels, you know, tourism has come to a, a total stop. Our hotels are, are, are really challenged right now. Uh, car dealers, while they're considered essential, the only folks out shopping for cars right now are folks who definitely are in a situation where they absolutely have to have one. Um, so it's, it's making sure that when you, when you do need something, before you go to Amazon and click, you know, click on something, Think about whether you can buy it locally. That will go a long way to help that local family, which historically has helped with sponsorships for little leagues and, and charitable events. You know, we're, we're all in this together and we truly need to work together. And especially at a time like this, this is the best way to, to show that you support your community is by just giving back and, and shopping local, dining local, and making sure that you utilize local resources. Larry, uh, Westmont traditionally hosts so many festivals and special events during the course True. of the year. Can you just uh, give us uh, an idea of where things are in terms of some of the dates for those events starting? The first event that's being postponed is going to be the Red, White, and Barbecue, which is held Memorial Day weekend. We, we know for sure that that's not a, a wise event to have at this time and bringing a lot of people together and close quarters just is not the right thing to do from a safety standpoint. And it just, it just goes counter to what we're talking about with social distancing. So the uh, Red, White and Barbecue and the Race to the Flag, those two events Memorial Day weekend have been postponed. Everything's being looked at right now in terms of the street fair, which is every Thursday night, June, July, and August. Uh, the 4th of July activities at Tywana Parker, which are absolutely a, a phenomenal event. Uh, the Taste of Westmont in mid-July, all those are being looked at right now to see uh, whether they uh, can be postponed and rescheduled or modified or canceled and, and held off until next year. The most important thing is making sure our community is safe and that we're not creating a situation that could reverse the progress being made on COVID-19. Well, thank you, Larry, for sharing. This is excellent information to share with the community and the, and the greater area as well. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you joining us today, and if there's any updates, we'll get back to you. Thank you again. My pleasure, Bonnie. Be safe, be well, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. If you have information to share on Local Connections, send us an email at local at lkmedia.com. Thank you for watching.